And if you're feeling real traditional with your 421, just take him and kind of accidentally hit your snare with him. It's the way of our forefathers. Hey, baby, you like fast cars and holes in your neck? I'm Dracula. Oh, hi. Today, we're going to take a couple of minutes and go over how to mic a snare in the most traditional fashion. This is a pretty quick video because, once again, not rocket surgery. Two mics. Now, of course, there are some other things you need in an ideal world. First, you need a good snare. I'm not passing judgment here. You need a good drummer. You need a good drum kit. You need a good room. But let's assume all that is rote, shall we? And go about miking our snare. So first, you need a snare. Look at this one. On the top, you have the top snare head. On the bottom, you have the bottom snare head. And you're never going to believe this. The snares themselves. In order to preserve the proper elasticity of the snares, you can turn them on and off. As they get looser, you can use this mechanism over here to tighten them, thus adjusting your sound. So, snare. Snare top, snare bottom. Let us put the snare on the snare stand. This is a standard studio snare setup that we've had for quite a while. So, it seems like a pretty ideal way to show generic miking techniques. Here's a pair of Shure SM57s. We're gonna use them on the top and the bottom. They're 90 bucks, have a great frequency response, and can handle high SPLs. I'm going to place the top snare mic about an inch and a half off the surface of the snare, aimed slightly towards the center. Here's another angle of the top mic. Something to keep in mind is that I'm using short stands because drum kits tend to be very cluttered and you don't want to increase the clutter by using big unwieldy stands if you don't have to. Here's the bottom snare mic, about an inch and a half off the bottom snare head and placed and aimed directly towards the center because it's not in danger of getting smacked by a stray drumstick. And here's a side view of both microphones. Now, does yours have to look exactly like this to sound good? Nah. No. This is just suggested placement based on standardized techniques. YMMV, have fun. All right, so now you're all mic'd up. Nice, so let's check the actual sound of the snare, shall we? Bit ringy. Okay, pretty ringy. First, let's actually make sure that you've tuned it. Tuned it to what, you might ask? Well, to itself, if nothing else. You're also free to tune it to the song if you have the urge. You got your trusty drum key? Get in there, on the lugs, go around, and listen for consistency of tuning. And then do the same on the bottom. I'm not gonna get down there right now, I'm fat. Okay, fine, this is what I do for you people. So let's have a listen. Go around, tighten or loosen, depending on what your snare goes through on a regular day, until you are happy with the sound. Well, I'm glad we've tuned. I feel a lot better about myself, but... What, what, what do we do about the ring? Well, that's a great question. Typically, I go for the quick, proven third-party options. The first, not best, not worst, the first option that I'm going to show you is a snare ring. Place it on the top of the snare, comme ça. Oh. That's a pretty different sound. No snare ring. Ringy. Snare ring. Tight as a drum. It's a pretty cool sound. Now let's say you don't have a snare ring. You can also use drum gels, which are these beautiful little patches about yay big of the same kind of stuff that those silly like throwy hands that are sticky are made out of and you throw it and you smack your sister with it and then you kind of pull it back and she gets all mad and it's a good time. Well. Those will have much the same effect of just attenuating that ring. Let's just put those, let's just put those on there. One for Luke. Huh. No gummy snake. Gummy snake. You should probably tape them on there so they don't jump and get in the way of your drummer. Also, so it's harder to eat them. But they have the exact same effect as a drum gel of dampening down your snare. You can also use like board tape and tissue and make yourself little board tape tissue sculptures around the top of a snare and try and like 
really get into where the problem is and use more, use less, see what happens. This is all your taste. It's mic'd. And now I got fat. <laughs>